So what we can do now is to take this a step further and create our own colour wheel by picking three primary colours from our collection of paints. And it doesn't really matter which three you pick, as long as you make a note of it on the colour wheel so that when you look back at the colours you know how you mixed them. It's really important to say at this stage that if your water looks like this, it's time to change it and get some fresh water because even the pigment in your water will affect how the colour comes out when you mix it. So now I'm back again with some fresh water and I'm going to paint my colour wheel. And what I'm going to suggest that you could do is to let your paint thin out a little bit if you're using watercolour or if you're using acrylic you could add some white to it so you can see the effect of lightening the colour that you've mixed. So first of all we just put some of the pure colour into the box for the primaries. So here's my yellow, lemon yellow. And now with watercolour, diluting that a bit, I can completely clean off my brush and just introduce some clean water and drag this out at the edges. And that shows me what the colour looks like when it's diluted. And now I move on to the next primary and I've chosen cadmium red and ultramarine. So here's my cadmium red. And that's the strongest colour. Dragging it out to get a lighter version of the same colour. And you can see the yellow in here by how peachy pink this is. And finally the ultramarine, which in its pure form can be quite a dark blue. And when I drag it out you can see the paler version of that. It's really important before you mix any colour that you clean your paintbrush because any colour on, left on the brush will of course transfer into the new mixture. So now I'm going to do my first mixture which is lemon yellow and ultramarine blue. And when you mix on the palette it's really important that you start with the lighter colour first. The reason for that is that the pigment in the darker colour is a lot stronger and if you get it wrong it will take a lot of the lighter colour to change it. So start with the lighter colour, lemon yellow here, and clean the brush because I don't want to transfer any yellow into my blue on the palette. And all I'm going to do is to touch the tip of my brush into that yellow so there's very little there. And you can see how, how little it takes just to change that from a blue to a green. What you might like to do is to just add a bit more of that blue to get a slightly darker green. Because of course the colour you achieve depends upon the proportion of each of the primaries either side. And again we can drag this out a bit, make it lighter and see the kind of colour that we might get. So now moving on to the lemon yellow and cadmium using a different well of the palette. Mix it so that it's a little bit fluid but we want to keep some of the intensity of the colour. And just a touch on the tip of the brush of the cadmium red. And that's adding a bit more, so it's getting closer to the red than it is to the yellow. One thing to mention is that when you do clean your brush and you take off the excess water, 
be wary of little drops of water on the ferrule of the brush because if you're painting they will eventually drop into your brush and dilute your paint and that can cause some unexpected effects in watercolour particularly where the water drops into your mixture on the paper and pushes out the pigment to the edge and it can spoil a nice flat wash. So it's useful to have a little bit of kitchen towel or paper towel handy and just wipe off the water on the ferrule. And so the final mixture is going to be the cadmium red and the ultramarine, which we have already tried to make a purple with. And so you know already that that will be a little bit muddy. So here's a version that's a little bit closer to the red. It does look quite maroon burgundy. So there really is quite a continuum between these two primary colours. So now I've completed my colour wheel for these three primaries and I have a good idea of the kind of colours that I can mix with it. If I use more of the yellow in a green mixture I get quite a nice fresh green but the more blue I use with the red tint of the ultramarine starts to get a little bit muddy. Similarly with the lemon yellow and the cadmium red Towards the, lem the yellow side it's a little bit of a weaker orange but as I add more red it gets warmer. And actually this is not too bad an orange with the lemon yellow and that's because the lemon yellow being a lighter colour has a less intense pigment anyway. But when we get to the red and the blue, the yellow in the red is really not helping the nice violet that I want to achieve. So I know straight away that if I want a really pure purple violet, a lavender or a bluebell colour for example, I can't use cadmium red because it's just going to make everything muddy 